Hey y'all, Flower Plant Killer here, Jessie with Living All Prayer Flower Farm, and in today's video, we are starting status. So today we are starting several different types of status. I grew status last year and fell in love with it. Not only is it a great filler flower, it's also a great dry flower and it's super easy to grow and pretty awesome to harvest, honestly. And it goes great with almost everything. So today we are starting Forever Silver from Geoseed, Pastel Shades Mix, Forever Blue, and then from Johnny Select Seed Companies, we are planting Seeker Rose Shades, Formula Mix, and that is it for my statuses. Five different types of statuses, and I'm planting a lot of it. Also, just want to throw this tip out there. I'm keeping a lot of my seeds in these little photo boxes. At Hobby Lobby, they have a photo storage box with a bunch of different colors of these in them, and it's like eight bucks. Eight bucks, you can't beat it, and it stores the seed packets in there nice and easy. I got some flowers to put on there and a little sticker to make it easy so I know how to keep my seeds organized and what goes where. I've got a lot of these in the refrigerator now, right now for cool season flowers. If you're new to my channel, my name's Jessie and well, I'm a former plant killer. And this year I am on a cool flowers journey using Lisa Mason Ziegler's book, Cool Flowers Has My Guide. If you would like to purchase this book, you can do so by clicking the affiliate link down in the description below, or you can go to the Gardener's Workshop and I believe Lisa will sign the book if you buy it directly from her website, which is gardenersworkshop.com. I'll put a link for that down in the description as well. Now, I will say she does not have status listed in this book, but it is a cool flowers. I believe she's got it listed on her website, but status is one of those great flowers we can plant in the fall. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start her in trays and then we will transplant her out. In this video, we will go from starting the seed to germination so you can see what the seedling is going to look like all the way up to one month. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video so you'll see what these plants are going to look like. Pretty excited about Seeker Rose. Rose shades, oh, it is gorgeous. So this year I'm trying to be a little bit more professional. So I'm actually using plug trays. Last year I just planted in a big full tray and it did fine. So if you don't feel like buying plug trays, just go to the Dollar Tree, buy some aluminum pans and put some saran wrap over it. It works, it's fine. But this year, I'm trying to be more professional, so I'm using plug trays. And I've got 50 cell plug trays. Now I know I want at least half to be Seeker's Rose shades, and probably half of the silver. And then maybe half a tray of blue, half a tray of the mix, and then a full tray of the pastel shade mix. So 150 sass plants is what we're starting today. And that's gonna take up a lot of room, but you know what, they were just such a great plant and such a good worker. I'm good with having a lot of them. So let's get these trays filled up with some dirt. Now that my soil is good and moist and all the plug trays are filled, I'm gonna make my labels. If you think you will remember what you planted and what's in these seed trays, we're wrong. You are not going to remember. So it's very important to make sure that you label and date what you put in these seed trays. I used to think, ah, I remember. You don't remember. So Geo Seed, the seed packet really doesn't have a lot of information on it. It just tells you what you bought. But the great thing about Johnny's Select Seeds, not sponsored, does have a ton of information on the back of the seed packet. So Johnny says, so five to six weeks before your last frost, unless you're in the south, start it in the fall. Preferably like September, I'm just three months behind. It's all good. So Johnny's gives you a lot of information on the back. We're only gonna follow a few of the directions on this packet. For as in, we are going to barely cover the seed since light aids in germination. And within one to two weeks, we should have germination. So let's go ahead and get these seeds into the tray. And I'm going to do about two seeds per spot and I'm just going to press them in. And the reason I'll do two is just in case one doesn't germinate, I've got a backup seed. If they both germinate, then I'll just have to cull a seed. It'll be a sad day that I have to cull a seedling, but you know, stuff happens. Only one shall live. 
And just FYI, you can start these in the spring if you wanted to. Starting them in the fall allows for a stronger plant overall. All right, now that all the seeds are in, the next step is, since it said lightly cover, I'm just going to use some vermiculite to cover my seeds. Just a nice layer. This will also help with algae growth. For the longest time, I resisted buying vermiculite because it's like 10 bucks for a bag, but the stuff goes a long way. I've had this bag since the beginning of the 2021 season. That's how long I've had it and it's been great. It just lasts forever and it helps with algae growth. So if you're starting seeds that take a long time to germinate, like snapdragons for instance, this stuff is fantastic. Yes, I do have a natural spray bottle. I don't know where it's at. At some point I decided to do this. Anyway, I'm just gonna give the seeds a nice good soak since they're not covered with soil just to kind of help give them a jump start. Should have probably done that before putting the vermiculite on top. All right, I'm gonna take these inside, put a dome on top and then throw it under the grow lights. And thanks to YouTube Magic, I'll see you when they emerge. All right guys, it is now December 2nd. We started these on November 28th. So it's only been about four days since starting the status and we've already got good germination. You can see what the status is gonna look like once it germinates. At this point, since I have at least 50% germination in the tray, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the dome so I don't risk the chance of dampening off. After they grow up a little bit more, I'll come through here and I will thin them out for any of them that have two in one cell. Today is December 19th, so they're almost a whole month old. I have thinned them out and they are just thriving and I'm gonna let them continue to get a little bit bigger and maybe in two or three weeks I will transplant these out into the farm. If you like this video be sure to smash the like button. If you would like to see more from seed to one month videos be sure to check out the playlist beside me and I'll see you there.